Steve, that's a huge three points. Yeah, it is. You know, against a, a team that's probably similar to us in many respects. They're big, they're strong, they're physical. And they're going to test you. And um, people talk about, they sort of they played on Wednesday, but listen, when you qualify to go to Wembley, you can walk from Bradford to Wickham. You, you, don't, you don't walk in tired the next day. And to be fair, as we thought, Matty Woody changed that up a bit. And then you actually look at the, I've always said, you look at the strength of a team when you look at the bench. And the bench is a who's who of top end of League One. So first 15 minutes, they were much better than us. We looked as if we were nervous. And that's going to happen, given the quality of our performance at Derby and Reading and Bristol Rovers and Port we, We've been very good, so they're a little bit nervous. We changed the pattern, the system. And we tried to get one or two more influential players into the game. And then we had control. And then we... We got a well-worked goal, great a vision with Sweeney and picks the skipper out and he scores. And and then we go and come out second half and you know we said we have to match the the tenacity and the vigour that they're going to have. Those lads are playing for a place at, at the best stadium in England at Wembley. So we knew that was going to happen, but you know we don't want the goalkeeper to get sent off. We'd rather go two 0 up. I think we go two 0 up, but it's a comfortable day because we're so far on top. And then we missed a couple of chances to. Three chances, in fact, to, to go and wrap it up, um, and then and then like the last few minutes is a little bit nervy, but it's going to be nervy when they're just throwing caution to the wind, they're throwing long balls into the box, and and they've got some some real quality players. So, you know, I said to the players, we have to and we will play a lot better. But here I was for three weeks in a row saying we played very well and we've lost, so we've won a game, and I think if you look at it over the ninety, we deserve to win the game, um, but we'll play a lot better. Did you get what you expected from Wickham? Because that first 20 minutes or so, it looked like they were very disruptive and you couldn't get a handle on it. <laughs> well, they're, they're very strong, they're very physical. You know, I, I know a number of their, those players personally. And I know what getting to Wembley and the Bristol Street Motors are mean to them. So Matty quite rightfully will incentivise with saying, you've got to turn up at Stevenage and play well for me if you want to play at the National Stadium. So we knew they would have a what would you say a bullish start to the game and they did and I, I think mixed with that our boys were a little bit nervous in training yesterday and, and I've seen that and I, I spoke to the players I spoke to the staff but you can't take that away from inside players but once it settled down then I, I think we were the better team Carl Pigiani what a finish you don't expect that from the big man <laughs> well we're doing training he's actually got good feet Carl uh, you'll never hear me saying that many times because we don't want him to use them many times but um, he's a warrior isn't he Carl and it Probably play with Dan Sweeney as well, but I think it's a it's a commendable performance. A number of players at there, McDonald come in to start for the first time in a long time. And when we switched him positions, he became really influential in the game. He probably won more little nicks in in, uh, in winning the ball back for us than they played on the pitch. So um, but I'm pleased for the players. You know, we we go again in a derby on Tuesday and nobody has to tell me how tough it'll be against Cambridge. Be some selection problems as well. That some of those players there today really put in a big performance for you. Yeah, they did. And we've always said that to get into a team, you you have to produce a big performance. And as a manager, you have to be strong. You know, we have a, an internal rule in the camp that if you don't train two days before each game, you do not get considered for selection. So as much as Jamie Reid can be disappointed when I don't put him in the squad and Luther Wild in, they don't train Thursday, Friday. You don't train Thursday, Friday, pff, zero, set the seats. And, um, and that's just because you have to be prepared, not because I've got this rule, it came from from um, a manager who's in the Premier League now who once told me they don't train for two consecutive days before it. They can't be ready for going into the battle. And um, so we were also missing some big players today. Adam Presley was ill. Elliot List was feeling a fitness test from yesterday when we thought he was good to go. And obviously Reedy and, and uh, Luther I made the decision. So, But our bench was strong today. You can see that when, when I'm looking around with the quality of players we got. And the guys who come in got us what we needed, which was three points. Another big game on, on Tuesday night, of course. Cambridge as well. Um, players coming back as well? Yeah, I mean, Reedy really, and Luther will be fit to train Monday, given the reaction when I told them they're not in the squad. Um, but it's a local derby, isn't it? I can't say, I'm not going to tempt fate and see under the lights, but we'll be here on Tuesday. <laughs> um, and they're, listen, they're, they've got really good players. Um, they, they've got um, the mechanics and the structure of what Neil Harris has put in place. And um, I was chatting to to Chopper yesterday, and I think they've got a great. I think they've got it Southampton today, Millwall. Um, 
but no, so they've got the mechanics of what he put in place. So that makes it a lot more difficult than perhaps it would have been before Neil was was at Cambridge. It doesn't make it easier because he's left because the instruction manual is in the uh, in the club.